Hey, what's going on YouTube? I got the S Beagle Pocket Drone Quadcopter 124 FQ777 uh, CF mode uh, 14 plus the cool thing here I'll show you guys some of the modes on this quadcopter uh, outdoor flying 2.4 gigahertz 6 axis stabilization system uh, one way return mode switch so mode 1 mode 2 support um, 360 unlimited eversion okay uh, headless mode throttle limit button LIPO battery and the light on it so let's unbox it uh, I got the red bad boy uh, these come as you can see here white black red and blue called pocket drone 124 quadcopter fun toy for the kids uh, comes with everything you need let's unbox it and let's take a look at it and then we'll as always we'll do a flight test so let's remove this okay and I'll put a link description where you can get this okay everything in the box you might want to watch the box because these are white and you might not see them when they're in there there are little extra propellers and they're very very small but they are labeled uh, not sure if you're gonna be able to see this but they are labeled as A and B so the the propellers and then A1 so these are some extra ones they do have to be put on the right way on these little quadcopters if you don't put the propellers on the right way it won't work we got the standard little charging cable that plugs into the battery okay we got a little instructional manual in lovely Chinese and then on the other side in lovely well English and Chinese so yeah it's two languages I don't know if you can see it explains the remote here uh, forward trimmer backward trimmer headless mode uh, left sideway trimmer all that good stuff so always read the manuals when you fly an RC quadcopters very important uh, this is you know let's unbox it and then I'll show you guys I'll show you more in depth when we actually fly this thing but this is very small it's a very small quadcopter you can see my hand uh, so this is sealed beautifully sealed as you can see uh, so I'm going to break the seal here. There you go. Break the plastic wrap. Very well packaged for a quadcopter, I would say. Some of the stuff that I get, uh, some of the Chinese drones and stuff, they're not that well packaged. I'll remove that. Okay. So here's our actual quadcopter. This thing lifts up. Our little tiny quadcopter lifts out. It's very light. See it here? This quadcopter right on it, on and off switch. Turn it on, you see a blue, right, uh, red lights, blue lights on the other side. Okay, put it down here. Uh, propellers, as far as propeller goes, there's B. Okay, so B here. Okay, A, A and B. So it says quadcopter here, A and B goes here. And then A1. And V1. So, okay. So, always try to remember how they go on. Uh, they can slide off easily, as you can see. I just slid one off. So, always a good idea. Kind of write it down how they go on. Sometimes they don't put in the manuals how they go on. This thing closes back up. And here's our remote. There you go. Our remote and lift this from the back another little glass piece it's uh rechargeable uh, we got the little guard for it so we can slides right on so it comes with a guard propeller guide guard which is good so you won't be losing your propellers as much and this kind of just snaps in a little little protection here for a quadcopter Okay, okay, I'm putting it the wrong way, I believe. So it's got to go this way. 
there's like a little thing that slides in. I don't know if you can see it here. Let me show it to you. It's got to go slide in there. So try putting this on. Whoops. So it's very fragile. Um, just slides right on. There you go. Slide that right on. Takes a little bit of focus here to get it, to get it on. There you go. Uh, I think I put it the wrong way, so I had it right the first time. Uh, I believe this should be facing down. Yeah. No, actually, no. I had it right. Uh, I had it right. Yeah. It should be like that. Okay. So let me put that on. It's kind of tough to put this thing on. It's it's not designed very well. I, I don't think. <laughs> But it will protect your propellers during flight mode. So it is recommended. As we all know, we're not, not everybody's a perfect flyer. Pilot error is always a possibility, as we know. I know myself. <laughs> How many times I made pilot errors. I had it on there earlier. It's just tough to get it on. But that's basically how it goes on. Kind of tough to get it on, but once it's on there, it's it's on. So once you get it on there, it'll definitely be on. There you go. And here you go. Well, that was a tough fight to get it on. And it comes off sometimes. So I imagine if you run into things, it's, it's going to fly off uh, a few times here and there. So try not flying into things. Okay. There you go. Uh, what else we got? We got a little more propellers. So really nice of them to give you lots of propellers and even extra ones I got in the bag here. So I'll just break that open. Here we go. More propellers. Uh, landing gear. Very tiny landing gear. Uh, Put the landing gear on. There's little holes here for the landing gear. This is very tiny. If you got big hands, it's really, really hard to work with. These very tiny parts. Everything's very tiny. So I'm just putting the landing gear on. Snaps right in. Very easy to assemble the landing gear. It's very fragile. It's very tiny, guys. There you go. Got my landing gear on. Yeah. Woohoo. All right. They give you that. They give you a little uh, extra landing gear piece if it breaks. Uh, give you a little care and thing for your, for your remote. Okay. This is the char charges right here. Okay. This thing might take batteries actually. Uh, there is a little screwdriver hole. Let me just undo that. It does not come with a screwdriver, so let me undo that, see what's in there. I'm thinking it's batteries. I don't think it has an internal battery, but let, let me uh, be 100% sure, guys, here. So we'll unscrew this. Here we go. And yeah, it looks like batteries go in here. Uh, yeah, double A's, two double A's go right in here. So you need a screwdriver, it doesn't come with a screwdriver. Uh, there you go. We'll put the batteries in and we'll take it for a test flight, guys. And we'll see how this little bad boy performs. Uh, let's do that. So flying this drone is pretty simple. It's really hard to control. So I'm, you can see I'm facing this way and the red light's facing me would be the direction the drone will be heading. 
and on the remote there's a few buttons I already have it synced here and I'll try to show you here the throttle so you can see when I throttle down when I push this down it gets more power and it starts to float and then I can move it around here I'll show you here you can see and uh, it's really hard to fly indoors I would say because uh, you can run into objects easily and I'll just hover here for a bit just to show you there you go just to show you a little hover pretty easy to control I'm um, just flying around here in my house you can see it buzzing away very sensitive to the controls uh, you can see it's very easy to hover and it's very fast this little drone is very fast as you can see I'm flying around here as soon as I give it more throttle it will go really fast up so I'm gonna try to give it a little bit more throttle and you can see it's uh, it's getting more faster the more throttle I, I give but you can see I'm controlling this indoors and it's pretty pretty it's not that hard so I'm gonna try to land this now so you push the throttle up now to land it so I'm gonna just land it slowly I'm just gonna come here and I pushed the throttle up and I landed the drone so this facing this way the red lights facing this way and that's basically how you fly it uh, so let's go over some of the controls on this uh, little drone so there's the headless mode that you can turn on here uh, there's left control lever this is your headless mode the forward trimmer turn left trimmer turn right trimmer so you got a bunch of trimmers on here as well yeah, I, can, I can trim it here and there you go I'm back in flight and it's very very responsive drone I like this toy can't wait to take it outside there you go I'm hovering a little bit higher in the air Give it a little bit more juice and back on the ground uh, battery time is pretty good get about 10 minutes 15 minutes uh, max uh, I'll provide the link in the description where to get this little drone it's a fun little toy I really like it here's the battery inside underneath uh, great little remote on it comes with a charger and everything you need uh, the one important thing is how to install uh, the propellers and with the propellers you got to see which way the engines spin and you got to install them to uh, the, the the side that sticks up should push the wind uh, so uh, let me show you uh, I'll put a, a diagram in the description because you got to make sure you got the propellers installed collect you got the propellers installed correctly on this drone uh, so just wanted to review this guys nice little toy um, I highly recommend super gluing the propellers so if they break you can just pull them off and put new ones on because they will fall off when you hit objects thank you guys for watching it's Adam from the Tech Zone and I'll see you guys in the next video take care